The U.S. flag is flying at half-staff tonight in the U.S. Capitol in honor of former U.S. Senator Bob Dole. Dole was 98 years old and, according to his wife, died in his sleep. ABC's Karen Travers looks back at his long and distinguished career, including as running mate to President Ford in 1976. There's plan to win an election. Robert J. Dole never won nationwide elected office, but he was one of the most recognizable and most powerful politicians of the 20th century. Born in a modest home in Russell, Kansas, July 22, 1923, Dole's young life was taken up with his family's Methodist church, the Boy Scouts, and athletics. But in 1943, his studies were interrupted by the Second World War. Assigned as a platoon leader, he saw action against German units in Italy early in 1945. A month into that conflict, he was seriously wounded. It was an experience he would write about years later. For a long moment, I didn't know if I was dead or alive. I lay face down in the dirt, unable to feel my arms. Dole was in and out of hospitals for three years, and he never regained the use of his right arm. After the war, he continued his education, attending law school at Washburn University in Topeka. Eighteen years later, he was elected to the U.S. Senate, where he would emerge as a powerful national figure. Americans got their first close look at the ambitious lawmaker in 1976, when President Gerald Ford chose him as his vice presidential running mate. Although the Ford Dole ticket was unsuccessful in its bid for the White House, the senator eventually rose to become Senate Majority Leader in 1985. Dole's name became a standard in the race for the Republican nomination for president. He lost the nomination in 1980 to Ronald Reagan, missed it a second time in 1988, but he finally won the top spot on the Republican ticket in 1996. But running against an incumbent president, Bill Clinton, during a time of peace and prosperity, turned out to be an impossible obstacle. Reflecting on his own success and the injury that shaped his lifetime, the senator once said he hoped he could be an inspiration. It's a message to all the people with disabilities. If you just hang in there, you're going to be able to cope with it. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington. Earlier today, I sat down with Richard Norton Smith to talk about the life of Bob Dole. Smith is a presidential historian, former director of the Ford Library, and was once a speechwriter for Dole. He wants people to remember Dole for his generosity, pragmatism, and humor. He was in Washington, lived in Washington for 60 years. And yet, what really counted about him, and I thought, he never left. Russell, Kansas. I mean, he brought that set of values that he brought to Washington originally in 1960, and he and he kept them, uh, and he and and with them all a sense of humor, a sense of humor about what they were doing. You know, this isn't brain surgery. Um, no one is perfect. No one is as good as they are made out to be in the press, and probably no one is as bad. Well, we will have much more on the legacy of Senator Bob Dole and the interview with Richard Norton Smith coming up later tonight on 13 on Your Side, late night at 11. And there's a full interview on our website, 13 on